Northern Ghana, many people struggle for decent livelihoods amidst high level of poverty and limited job opportunities, a situation that is fueling greater risk of unemployment. According to data from the Ghana Statistical Service, about 1.4 million, representing 13.4% of the total working population of 13 million in the eight brackets of 15 years and above, are unemployed. Zakaria Aisha is one of the over 1.3 million unemployed youth in the country who is breaking all barriers to venture into a male-dominated area. She told the news team that welding has been her passion growing up. She wants government and other stakeholders to invest more in training girls in men-dominated fields to not only bridge the unemployment gap, but also create an opportunity for women to be self-reliant. Like Aisha, several other girls in the five regions of the north still remain unemployed with many either married off at a teen age or travel to the south to engage in Kayae. Northern Region's director of the National Youth Authority, Mumuni Suleimana, believes not much is done by successive governments in skills development, which is the surest way of bridging the unemployment gap, especially for girls in deprived communities. So that uh, youth unemployment is becoming an issue, and of course, we can even describe it as uh, a situation where we are sitting on a time bomb. Uh, as an authority, we are mindful of the fact that young people's skills need to be developed. Once we go the vocational and technical way, then it is the surest way of doing away with youth unemployment. The can-do spirit should be there, that we should stop talking too much and do a lot of the action because it is the way. Ghanaians who are very good at talking, but when it comes to practicalizing or taking action, that is where you begin to know we are nothing to rely on. In the past, several efforts has been made by non-profit organizations to roll out entrepreneurial opportunities to their youth. We North, a non-profit organization working in 55 districts of the five regions of the North, as part of this drive, is training over 2,500 girls in welding, dressmaking, organizing, amongst others. Goal 8 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals seek to promote sustained, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment, and decent work for all. To achieve this goal, there is the need for Ghana to build the capacities of its youth towards enhancing for the full potentials of micro, small, and medium-scale enterprises by 2030. Christopher Mwako, TV3 News, Tamale.